Hi, I'm Lauren LaGrasso for After Buzz TV, and I'm here at the Women's Choice Award Show. Hello. Hi. I'm so excited to be with you at this amazing event for women. Yes. And we have been undervalued for, I think, a lot of years, and finally we're getting our due with these awards. So you're nominated for uh, the voice of women, correct? Yes. yes. What does that mean to you? What does it mean to be the voice of women? Um, well, I've been a journalist and a media critic as well as a media activist since the 1990s. And I've been um, working steadily to try and improve the diversity and the quality of representations of women in media um, on the news side and on the entertainment side, as well as the power of women behind the scenes in media. So the fact that there's finally not only some else doing this work and not just me um, but also there's finally sort of recognition that this work matters that the representations of women in media matter that um, that women and people of color can't thrive can't survive without fair accurate and uh, quality and authentic representations in media so um, to be nominated as a voice of me of women is uh, it's a real honor because I do this work not for awards I do it because I believe in it I'm an, this is activism to me it's not a job right I mean, it is my job but it's it's more than that it's it's what I get up in the morning wanting to do every day because I believe that um, that girls and women especially um, girls and women of color too really need to have uh, the reins of like to be able to control the reins of creating mm -hmm. um, the images out there and um, to have the tools, the media literacy tools, to challenge when there are biased or discriminatory representations. And we're, I think you're right that we're finally sort of getting our due, right? But there's also, make no mistake, right now it's a hard time for girls and women, especially at a time in our country when we're facing some real political backlash against women's rights. So the idea that um, that there are Voice of Women Award nominees here, but also Shiro Award nominees right. here. The co Alicia Garza, the co-founder of Black Lives Matter, is here today. Um, there are so many women here who are making a difference, not only in media, like in my category, but in a variety of civil rights and gender justice and social justice causes and I think that um, that that is the way forward that's how we resist I love that and you know a constant thing in media is how do you look like what are you wearing who are you wearing how do we move away from this question it's funny I was telling the founder of, uh, of I am that uh, I'm sorry I was telling the founder of the Women's Choice Awards earlier that about 10 years ago some friends and I were nominated well actually won a different kind of award it was called the real hot 100 it was this very independent indie thing where they brought a hundred women together and the tagline was see how hot smart can be and it was all leadership women taking leadership in various aspects and it was in response to the Maxim Hot 100 list because every time there's an award, half the time it seems like it's because you fill out a bikini really well. Mm -hmm. um, which is great. Which but is let's, great, let's but have like, a, something else to it, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, to the idea that this is the kind of award that honors people, women who are making a real difference in the world. They, um, the girls that are, um, that this is aimed at, the I Am That Girl partner, girls who are watching this get to realize that they have role models who do something, right. who see um, who see an injustice and figure out how to target it, change it, improve it, and thrive and win, right? And that's not to say that girls can't um, also be really proud of how they look and, and fashion and self-expression. But that's a piece, not it's, the whole. That's, that's fun. Yeah. That's not a goal. There you go. Right? So, like, I love wearing a wiggle dress and getting my hair all bomb, right? But that's not what I do. Right? And, and I feel like it's really important. This award is really important because it shows girls that, um, that they can aspire to make a real difference in the world um, and that they can look any way they can be short and tall they can be thick or thin they can be um, they can wear makeup or not wear makeup um, and they can be gender non-conforming they can be transgender and they can still achieve and make a difference without it being all about the way they look that 
That is the goal, right? Yeah. And I'm so glad you're part of it. Where can we find out more information about you? Oh, well, um, my name is Jennifer Posner. I am the author of Reality Bites Back, The Troubling Truth About Guilty Pleasure TV. So you can get, um, you can find out more about my work at realitybitesbackbook.com. I'm also the executive director and founder of a media justice group called Women in Media and News, which you can find out more about at wimnonline.org. I will check it out. Thank you for being with us. Sure, thank you. Oh, and Twitter. If you, Twitter. Um, Let's get there. If you want to tweet me and have conversations about this, it's J-E-N-N-P-O-Z-N-E-R on Twitter. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.